been here for like 20 minutes now and there's no vehicle. Hey, what's happening? Oh, well, no, I'm trying to say against us. Oh my god. I But you people are aware that I have more orders from my client. So two won't be enough. Baba, that's the only victim we were able to lay our hand on for now. You know, the police we are everywhere. And we are just being careful, okay? Baba is right. Just give us the one we've bought so that we can live here. The police are everywhere. That means you don't know your job again. So what's your bill? So what's your bill? Baba, but you know they're worth. I'm not supposed to be here. I mean, you shouldn't be saying this. Just give us a check that covers them so, so that we'll find a way out of this place. And yeah, uh, you're a prince, core businessman. Right. A prince with a dirty mind. Baba, leave all that, please. Look. But you know that 100% of the money made by rich men today has a connoisseur. What are you talking about? Are you not making money out of it? There's no time to waste, please. Do something. Daniel, you're right. Come and collect your check. You see, the problem is not only that they, they earn jumbo salary, but those projects that should benefit the masses, they equally divert to their own personal ends. 
to their families, to their corners. Excuse That's the problem. Hello. George, how are you? Uh -huh. uh, uh, my son, uh, you see, it is not easy finding a good woman here. Besides, I don't want you to marry any kind of woman, George. I need to find you a good man at jail whom you will marry. Trust me, your daddy. I will do that. Just be patient. I will find a good lady for you to marry, okay? Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Who was that we were talking with about a good wife to marry? From boys to men. From boys to men. My son! Your son. My son! Hey! <laughs> George, you know him. You know him, George. He wants me to secure a good lady he will marry. So your son is looking for a wife to marry and you didn't tell me. Well, you know I have a, a good and well-behaved daughter at home. Maureen! Hey. Hey. Ichi, forgive me. Uh, not that I I, I, I... I don't know how to say it. I forgot to tell you. But you have a, a, a daughter? Do you think your daughter will marry my son? Who is? Oh, what are you talking about? I am the mother of the house. I own my house. I run my house. Who is my daughter to refuse uh, the offer? Eh? My decision will be final when the time comes. Eh? Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. In that case, I will tell my son about your daughter. Okay. In fact, you make things easier for me. Tell him more. Hey. And you people have to be fast about it. You know these boys overseas. You have to follow them bumper to bumper. Otherwise, before you know it, they will carry a white woman home as wife. Don't Is say it? that. My son will not do it. Please, sir. I, I warn him. In, in fact, remind me something. I, I, let me call him. I, 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 I want to call him. I want to call him too. No, George won't do that. George can bring you, you both in my house. I will, I, I will kill the girl and kill myself. Nah. And you know what I can do. Yeah, well, uh, okay, I'm quite sure it won't get to that extent. Eh? As a, um, so when are you organizing the first introduction? Mm, I will talk things over. I will talk this over. I will let you know. Lord, let me know, please. Okay. Don't forget. Hey! Mm. Papa, Papa, me, I don't like this. I don't like this. This is my life we're talking about here. Can't I at least have a say? What are you talking about? Eh? Which woman in her right senses will not jump at a proposal from judge? Eh? Okay, what are you looking for in a future husband that George does not have? Tell me. Papa, Papa, me, I'm not interested in riches. I'm not interested in riches. You don't even know if, if I will love him. Shut up that term out of love. In this age, we are in now. Eh? What the average woman is looking for in a man is money. Money. Eh? Look, don't let me lose the opportunity to make my money in this affair. Do you understand? Can't you see the kind of building George is constructing? Can't you see that? And every week he sends me money. Papa, Papa, I'm not interested in worldly things. I'm not interested in worldly things. All I want is love. I don't want. I don't want. Are you walking out on me? Are you walking out on me? Let me tell you, as far as this affair is concerned, my decision is final. There will be no two ways about it. You must marry judge. Oh, my kingsman, I summon this meeting because of the information I received from the government concerning our palm plantation. Hmm. Yes, our king. We are aware of it. But what do we do? We need a hand in the government that will help us talk to the people at the top. Igwe, as you can see, Amashara people has nobody in government. What do we do? 
In that case, what do we do, my case man? Sorry for keeping you waiting, my fathers. Welcome, fathers. You're welcome. You're welcome. May your days be long, Your Highness. And you too, too. You can sit down. I have no such time. Thanks for honoring my invitation. Could you please repeat what you told me the other time to my king's men? May you live long, Your Highness. And before I repeat what I told you, I would like to give my greetings once again. For I was taught by my father, the Igwe Kamado. Once again, greetings to you, my elders. You're welcome. I mean, you leave now, my king. To the reason why I came, I had your deal. And I have decided to come and help you. Just one phone call, all these will be over. But in every good a man do it, there must be a price to pay. My prince, can you kindly name your price? Mm -hmm. The price shall be named only to the king. And he will relate it to you people. And if he refuses it to me, your plantation shall be taken away. Ah. The youth of this community will be hopeless, useless, and jobless. Because that's the only source of income, the only source of your daily bread. I must leave at once. For I have an important meeting to attend with my father. Good day. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uncle. Did you hear what he just said? That is. So what we have to do now is to wait. Till he names his price. Okay. Exactly. Then we know the next step to follow. Wow. You left me and my king's men in suspense. Situation of this kind demands privacy, my king. May your days be long. And also with you. My request is not a difficult one. And it's not beyond your powers. There is a treasure in your possession which I truly admire. A treasure? A beautiful one at that. Daniel, I don't have any treasure in my position. And the people of my kingdom don't have any at all. <laughs> you have a treasure, but you fail to recognize as one. What treasure? Princess Esther, your daughter. But you know I can't talk to her on your behalf, Daniel. Stubborn and strong is your daughter. Let me tell you, if you truly want her, why not go straight and talk to her? Try to convince her. If you desire to keep your plantation, then you must convince her that I'm worthy of her. The ball is in your cart. I get my treasure, and you keep your plantation. 50, 50. Just think. A treasure, my princess.
Aga. No. Uh, my son has given approval for the marriage of your daughter. Hey, hey, hey. Huh? Yes. Uh -huh. And so we will come in two days' time for the official introduction. Hey! Hey, to talk like a top nike. Huh? Yes. This is good news! Yes. This is good news! Yes. Huh? Yes. Okay. We will go and wait. Uh, huh? uh, 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 we will come. Uh, meanwhile, he sent this complimentary card for your daughter. Give it to your daughter. Yes. Oh, this is good. Oh. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Eh? All right. I'll make sure my daughter speaks to him this night. Eh? Try. Eh? Yes, try. Eh? Try. Hey. Try. You know, we know how to do these kind of things. Yeah. And once we're inside, we're inside. To I get to we will enjoy. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Come, Let me be going, eh? Okay. Let's go and wait for you people, eh? Eh? Oh, God. Look at how great you are. Eh? Look at my, my simple family. Raising us from grass to grace. Hey! <laughs> and very soon we will see all sorts of cars in my compound. Eh? Who knows? I may begin to employ my own personal driver. Yes! It's a Numu. Simplicity mean to you? I mean, what do you need all those guards for? For a man of my status, simplicity doesn't count. These men don't count. Well, you sent for me? Yes. I want us to talk. Why do you choose to talk outside? Can't we talk inside? Well, I want to talk to you, and you alone. Well, don't worry, I've spoken to your father about it. Have you heard of this saying? You give honor to who honor is due. I will speak to my father myself. your simplicity. It still means a lot to me and it's still very important. <laughs> Do I look funny? Even with your strong will, you are still a woman. <sighs> Meaning? Well, that's not too important now. After all, that's not why we're here. So, um, what can I get for you? Do you want something? Please go straight to the point. Princess Esther, it's nice having you around. 
Permit me, I have important oh. business to attend wait, to. Wait, no, no. Oh, wait, I don't understand. What don't you understand? For the fact that I brought you here doesn't mean you Meaning should... what? That you brought me here to insult me? I mean, who are you? Who gave you the audacity to behave like this in my presence? Watch your tongue, miss. This is a public place, and I am a public person, so you mind the way you embarrass me. Oh, you call this embarrassment, right? You've not seen the worst of it. Look, nobody walks out on me. Huh. Listen, Prince Daniel. You are nothing more than a pinch of salt under my foot. I cannot do that, Papa. I can't do. Uh -uh, huh? I can't do that. How can you ask me to call the man now? Am, am I desperate to marry? What does it matter if you call your husband to be? Eh? Okay. What does it matter if you make the call first? Maureen, you are getting on my nerves. Eh? How, do, you, do you know what I suffered to bring you up? Are you trying to say you don't want me to, to, to reap the fruit of my labor? Papa, you're getting this whole thing wrong. It's not as if I don't want you to reap the fruit of your labor. Eh, but the man should call me now. I should not be the one to call the man. Ah, Papa. Morin, you have better more than you can chew. If you make this young man change his mind about marrying you, eh, you won't believe what I will do to you. Look at you. Huh? Oh, what's him? Hello, George. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we, we are okay. We are all right. Yes. Uh, uh, she is not around right now. Yeah, maybe you will have to call her in the evening. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> huh? You sent me a parcel? Oh, George, I like this. I like this. Okay. No, as soon as I receive the parcel, I will let you know. Yes. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey! They are not even married yet. And he is sending me parcels. Eh? Hey! See, if this girl denies me parcels, eh? You give me an angle. Eh? It's too kai keto mnike. It's too kai keto mnike. Where is that girl? So how did you go? Well, you know how we can be sometimes. It's very stubborn. That's Welcome. I must leave both of you to talk. No, Alice, no, 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 no. She humiliated me in the public today. Told me things that no one does. Even walked out on me. Father, I give respect to those who respect me and not otherwise. I must leave both of you to talk. Don't you. And don't I what? Need I remind you that this is my kingdom and I can choose to do whatever I desire to do, including sending you out of here. That's my daughter. Mm -hmm. Need I remind you that I am a first class prince. Mm -hmm. Therefore you cannot do whatsoever you desire. This is my kingdom and my say stands. Daniel. Daniel! I hope you didn't come here to abuse my daughter. You've come here to report her to me. Is that not so? Where is my foot? called me thrice and you said nothing 
Okay, fine. I know the problem. It is the plantation, right? Up now. I only have two weeks. But I thought Daniel was supposed to help you. Honestly, I don't know how to beat his demands. Well, all I can say is, don't let the sacrifice be worth more than the purpose of the sacrifice. Good night. is really affecting everyone and it's not longer himself i wonder what the problem is you wonder yes now you mean you've been in this palace and you don't know why the king is so much in grief of course i have no idea or do you know anything are you saying that you're not aware that the government is planning to take over match palm plantation huh? huh is that why the king is so unhappy these days that is enough reason for him to be unhappy. Imagine what this community would be like if the government should take over that plantation. That is our only source of livelihood. So what is the, uh, the king and the cabinet doing about it? Are they going to fold their hands, watch the government take whatever belongs to this community? They are so much confused. They are so confused. And the point is we don't even have anyone in the government to speak on our behalf. Huh. As God will help us. I pray. It's good. I pray. It's good. Your Majesty, with all due respect, I hate waiting. You're welcome, my son. Time is running out. And I'm sure you're aware. Daniel, my grey is not a joke, but wisdom. Why then did you refuse me of my request? You see, what is at risk is how precious your demand is to me. It will not let go, even if it will let go. Not even at the risk of losing the plantation. Not even at the risk of losing your throne? In the bye! Mm -hmm. You know what's up? Shine your eyes. Mm? Including you. Haram. Haram for you. Tama, sir. I'm lawyer, sir. Nothing to you. Shine your eyes. Nothing to you. I'm impressed the way you all are loyal to me. Only only face is a loyal to accord. Greetings. Greetings, Princess. I am not surprised. I can see that you're quite busy. Oh, I'm happy you noticed. I need to talk to you. Impress me with your words, my princess. In the presence of your company? Now, 
So tell me, what are your demands? Your father's treasure is my demand. You want my father's throne? Far be it. Your father can do without a whole lot, including his throne, save one. So what might that be? It is best said by your father. My princess, I understand your worries. I wish there's anything I could do to help. Amanda, you can leave now. I cannot leave you, my princess. Amanda? Your Highness. I said, you can leave now. Amanda? Your Highness. Leave her. Esther. Your silence has made me to be so worried. My silence confronts me, for my heart is very bitter. Please, do not allow the word of your sacrifice take away the purpose of it. Remember, those were your words. Father, do not judge me by my words. Upon now. A man's words are his bonds. I made no promise to you, Father. I owe you nothing. Up now. Up now. I'm not surprised you came, my princess. You know what? We can only have a disastrous future and not a wonderful one. I disagree. We can have a wonderful future. Remember, with love, all things are possible. Mm. <sighs> Be kind to me and my kingdom and you have my friendship for the rest of your life. I desire not only your friendship, my princess, but everything about you. You only have three days, and that which makes your kingdom stand out will be taken. Think. Think. You desire me. And I desire your kind gesture. We have to be very careful about our thoughts. What's wrong with you? Baby, you don't get this. Try, try, try. But wait, wait. Seriously, what is your father saying about you and George? My father. George, pass me. <laughs> George, one. George, this, George, that. <laughs> Don't worry. Welcome. How are you? Welcome. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> I was on my way going to the market. I said, let me just come and say hi to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me go. Oh. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. oh. You are looking sweet today. Oh, come on. Papa, can I help you? I, I came, I came. Hey, Papa, my friend, he came to see me. See you for what? See you for what? Are you not with your right senses? Eh? Don't you know that, that if you're expecting to get married, you should see no other man? Eh? Eh? Mr. Man. Sir. Don't come anywhere near this compound again. 
Eh? She is getting married. So don't come here to bother her. Eh? Now go. She has never told me she's getting married, sir. Well, she tell every stupid village champion that she's getting married. Eh? Will you get out? Don't come here again for your own good. Go, 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 go. Go. Papa, let me see him. Come back here. See him up for what? He found his way here. So why can't he find his way out? Is he blind? If you move here now, I cut those legs of yours off. Papa, this thing you're doing is not fair. I can't at least see an old friend. That's what it means, oh. Because you are getting married. Let me tell you, in our own days, the moment I proposed to your mother, she remained indoors until the day I brought her under my roof. Papa, that was those days now. No, it was those days. But things have changed now. At all? Eh? Besides, Papa, me, I have not given my consent yet to this proposal. Look at you. Don't try that. Let me tell you, as far as this affair is concerned, you are for George and George is for you. Yes. Papa, you the one he's marrying. This is my life we are talking about here. Your life? This is my life. Okay, okay, Papa. Let me ask you. Uh -huh. This man that you want your daughter to marry, what and what do you know about him? At least I know he sends me parcels. He's been taking care of me. What can this one boast of? I'm sure the shoes and dresses he came with, he borrowed them. Eh? I'm sure of the person I'm talking about. Who is this one? Don't allow him to come here again and mess up this arrangement. Please. Eh? Everything can hurry coming here to, 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 to bother you. Eh? It's a talk like a tom nike. It's a talk like a tom nike. Let him not come here again. It's my final warning. It's a talk like a tom nike. To me, village champion. If I see you anywhere near my daughter again, I'm going to give you the treatment you won't like. Do you understand? Ichi, I'm in love with your daughter. You are what? I'm in love with your daughter. Why are you You've gone ahead, poisoning your daughter's mind towards me. Ichi, it's not, it's not fair. Just hold it. You said you're, you're in love with my daughter? Yes, Do you know what you are? A pure idiot. Very pure idiot. Let me give you the last warning. If you come near my daughter again, I'll cut off your manhood and give to Mama Kenneth to prepare pepper soup. That's final. Look at the village champion. Hey, it is to Nomnike. Hey, it is to Kaike. It is Nomnike. Aye. Hey! Ah. Ah. I was really about to come and call you. All this money is from my in-law. Uh, Papa, <laughs> your husband. This? Yeah, yeah. It's not the only this. He even sent expensive jewelry for you. But, Papa. Uh, why why does he spend so much money on me when he has not even seen me yet? No, it doesn't matter if he sees you or not. The important thing is that he is getting married to you. He's getting married to you. <laughs> yeah. Papa, I advise that you stop receiving gifts. Stop receiving gifts because me, I've made up my mind. I'm not marrying anybody. You've made what which mind? Let me tell you. I have received wine on your head according to tradition. Exactly. So from now on, you should be known as his wife. Ah, Papa, why are you sounding like this now? You don't even care how I feel in all of this. How can a girl at my age marry a man that I, I don't even have an idea of what he does? What else do you want to know about him? He's a big shot. A successful businessman in the South. He has passes of land here and there. And cars you cannot count. What do you want to know about him again? Eh? Mm. Me, I said my own. I said my own. The more you look, the less you see. What is that you're talking about? Who are you saying that to? Eh? Look at you. 
You should be thanking yourself that I found somebody who is rich for you. Right? Many girls, not every father has time to go and do this for his daughter. Eh? Hey? I'm thinking that something is wrong with you spiritually. Eh? Hey? Yes. You are not okay spiritually. And I'm going to dig into that. What do you mean? Are you taking the jewelries or not? I'm not interested. Eh? I'm not interested. Hi! Hey. What do you think? These are running out. And from all indications, we may lose that plantation to the government. That's my fear. Because if we dare lose the plantation, our community will crash. God forbid. But I thought Prince Daniel was here yesterday. <laughs> and that is also highly connected. So why is he not helping issues? Of course he was here. I saw him. I want his demand was so high that the king can't even cope with it. His demand? What's the demand all about? Does he want the head of the medics before he could do something? I know. Huh? Are you asking me? Yes, no. As one of the king's cabinet members or what? I thought you know something. How am I supposed to know a demand that is even hidden from the cabinet members themselves? Please, I'm going back to our quarters. I don't want the princess to come and find us here gossiping. So, I'll... why are we not gossiping now? We're gossiping. We're all gossiping. Yes. What are we doing? Oh, are we gossiping? No. We're not gossiping. We are reporting BBC News. Gossip. Gossip. Oh, Stay there. We're not gossiping. gossiping now. Look at her. Who is gossiping? Yeah. You are not. Who is not gossiping? I fear for my father's fear. Your father's fear? The king has no fear. All men have fears. What then are his fears? The demand for his gesture seems so fat. I see fears in his eyes. I wonder what the demands are. What then do we do? Long live my king, my best friend, and my father. May you be back. I'm also with you. Where have you been? Father, I've been searching for you everywhere. You can't be serious that you are so lonely in this house full of people. <laughs> You're my jewel and honor. My treasure. And above all that matters to me. And believe me, I can do without you, my daughter. You lie, father. We all know that you care about everyone but me. I am your sacrificial lamp for your plantation. And I know it. Come on, my princess. You are certain to marry Prince Dano have brought so much joy and happiness into this kingdom. Honestly, you think so? Yeah, I know so. I mean, come on, you saved the community from losing their palm plantation. You're indeed a heroine, girl. Well, um, I'm about moving into my husband's house. Yeah. Will you come visit him when I finally move in? What are you saying? You are asking. Oh, come on. <laughs> I will. How can the problem? I'll be expecting you then. It's yeah. a promise, right? Yeah, it's a promise I must keep. Okay, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, what do you have? Um, let me see if I can call. Them. Men and brethren, I quite appreciate all your kind gestures. This is time for celebration. <laughs> and you, I like what you do. 
you are doing just fine. For that sake, I'm giving you five hundred thousand. Jamman, Jamman, you don't have to have it. Hey, Jamman, you get out that. Yes, 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 yes. I know what you can do. You don't have any problems with that. No, no, don't worry, don't worry. You guys should drink and enjoy. Vince, I know what you can do. You can even break the bottles when you're done, okay? Oh, man. I have some other business to attend in there. Game out, guys. <laughs> At least those of us that have some other things in there. Let me attend to it. I think I get your key. Hello, Paul. Easy, oh, easy. Man, I'm going to Easy, yo. Oh. Yeah, yeah, baby, baby, too. No, no, don't worry. Just, just drink and enjoy yourself. Not I'll be back in the gym. Easy. Ah. Mm. 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 <laughs> Nami, what you do here at the one? Don't break my cup. It's not easy. Are you not satisfied that I'm a slave in this house already? You want me to be a slave to all your friends as well? Is that what you want? Ah! Uh. I don't understand you. You know where to have honeymoons. All I get is house moon and kitchen moons. I mean, is this the wonderful future you promised me? Oh, I can now see how wonderful the future will be. Oh yes. Is the future not wonderful? Can't you see? <laughs> I love you. I spoke with Lars and he said he will be here tomorrow morning. Dami. Yes, my prince. I need not to tell you what to do. Yes, my prince. Concerning the consignments? Sure. I think it should be the highest bidder. I mean the highest bidder. For my prince. Mr. Lars has been a customer, but not the highest bidder. Are you sure? Yeah, for me. Sure. Gentlemen, I might be dirty, but I'm still straight. I have a surprise for you guys. <laughs> Let's run. Catch you there. Can't wait to see you. I'm coming back. So. Okay, yeah. You know, my friends. Do you know that life is incomplete without an Eve? And not all Eves are Eve. I know, my friends. Why don't you get me the right Eve? I found her, my prince. Seriously? Who is she? Where is she? That particular girl over there. Idiot! 
You said you want to see me. Talk to me. Yes, my prince. It's about her youth. Don't you think it's a high time you slow down about her? Apart from that, every woman deserves freedom. No. No. I've got better plans for her. Freedom for her will make her useless to me. But my world will make her what I want. She is my Eve. I'm not supposed to discuss her with you. Please, get out. Listen to my friends. So, your wife complained to me how you are my treating her. You just have to change. Dad, mm. I'm a man. And I'm matured enough to take care of the affairs of this house. I see no reason why my wife will come complaining about issues over this house to you. I am not a stranger. I am your father. Your real father. Um, Dad, we do respect. I have a lot of issues to attend to inside the house. God. These children of these days. Oh my God. What shall I do? I'm finished. You got my son walking out of me. All I need is a head and the virgin in particular. And I'm ready to pay 80 million naira. See, chairman, why don't you make it 90 million? This is the virgin we are talking of here. Come on, Papa. 80 million is not a chicken change. 80 million. 80 million. Is a deal. I'm talking. There's no problem. I will make it available this I'm evening. I'm talking. That's you. Good. Vic, come on. to me. Yeah. Fred. Yes. You hear what this was talking about? What? what? 80 million naira offer. <laughs> wow. 80. Can you imagine? I have been For used. only one woman head. I have been used. V. How monkey go they walk babu the chop? See, me, I don't understand. Though. I don't understand. <laughs> what do you us? Eh? This is business. <laughs> If they get mental problem, man, wait. Can't you see? Oh, this kind of business are you? I bet more go see Daniel. Wait first, Daniel. Yes. Yeah, I go, I go, I go, I go just scatter some body. I go scatter some body. Make we go see Daniel first. Daniel. Daniel. This guy is ready. And your man, they go, they go. No, no, no. My prince, are you gauging it? It is unbelievable that Baba of all is using her brains. Vikas, my prince, I hope you've got a largest number so that I can directly do business with him. Trust me, my prince. We got it. We shall be doing this business in my own house. Think about it. 
My house is safe. My prince, you are of the royal and highly respected. Don't you think we should do this business somewhere else? George is money. So it's our time to get a share of his South African cake. So use his phone now. Call him. Tell him to send some money. Take it. Papa, you know I can't. I can't. I can't do that. Eh? Why would we keep extorting money from him? What is extortion here? His wealth belongs to the two of you. Use this and call him now. Tell him to send us some money. Papa, what will I say I need the money for? Tell him, you can't use your brain. Are you daft? Eh? Tell him to send money for whatever purpose, anything at all. Take. Okay. It's now ringing. Say, don't fuck up. Don't ever fuck up. Take. Hello, good afternoon. Mm. I want some some money to please. I want some money. Uh, uh, did you say how much? Tell him eight hundred thousand naira. Hey, Papa. Eight hundred thousand naira now, Papa. So, uh, uh, don't talk rubbish here. Tell him eight hundred thousand. Hello, George. Uh, it, it's me, your father-in-law. Oh yes. So, uh, George, uh, the situation here is that uh, my house is collapsing. That's why your wife uh, is asking for some money from you. Uh, yes. You know, it won't be good if you come back and you see a collapsed house. Yes. Please. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, please, uh, take good care of yourself. Eh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. Papa, this thing you're doing is not good. This thing is bad. Bongo, look at this house. This house is not collapsing. Why are you lying? Shut up, your mom. What if I use the money to build a new house? Okay. What if I even buy a new, a new car? Eh? What are you talking about? Listen, this is our time to shine. So, let's shine. In another man's pocket, Papa. Point of correction. In your husband's pocket. I need money to construct a four-story building. George has been my only refinery, giving me money in small, small quantities. But how do I go convincing him to give me big money this time around? Hey, wetito kaike, eto unike. Where will this one go? 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 to think of it what do you really do because I can't remember the countless times you went to that fridge to take out something I cannot even explain what is your business in what I do oh, for heaven's sakes I am your wife and I demand to know whatever you do all right then since you want to know everything yes I want to know I need to sell enough human parts, otherwise called Lavrito. What? <laughs> no. No, 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 you're joking, right? I mean, you can't be serious. Are you serious? No, no, you can't be serious. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Don't you have a conscience? Oh my God. Conscience? 
<laughs> conscience? Is that a name? Of course I sold my conscience from the first day I joined this business. Oh my god. You know what? You have to stop this business. Else! Else what? How dare you look into my face and say I should quit my business? Listen, it's for your own good, all right? There are lots of business out there. Killing people and selling their parts? What is wrong with you? I don't kill people. People kill people and I do the selling. It's the same thing. Whether you kill people or you pay people to kill people, it's the same thing. Your hands are soaked in blood. Enough of that nonsense. I never asked you for an advice. Idiot. Daniel. Daniel, you are killing people. It is not fair. You are killing people. Madam, I have no right to tell your husband to stop his business. Do you call that thing business? Now listen, and listen carefully. If you all don't stop that business, I will report you to the police. Police? Yes. You better not try that. Because your husband is highly connected. I know what that means. Being connected does not mean that you should be against the law. Alright? Madam, well, for your better interest, let me take my leave. I saw Dr. Addison today. This is it. Oh, come on. You know I'm not a medical doctor. Shoot. I'm pregnant. <laughs> you know I should be happy. But that's bad news for business. Call the doctor. He knows what to do. Daniel. What? If you think that I'm taking out this pregnancy, you're in for a joke because I am not taking it out. It's not happening. Alright? This will be the second time that is obeying my orders. But the decision stands. Daniel, it's not working. I'm not taking out my baby, okay? It's not going out. It is staying, all right? Your friend is so hard out. How do you cope with him? You're right, madam. He's my booze, also my friend. I I know you told you about our little argument today, right? Yes, madam. I think you should consider his request. What? Listen, I want this child and I'm keeping it, okay? I mean, is, is that so much to ask for? Madam, deal with him the way you want it. No, I'm warning you now. It's for your own good, though. My father will lock you up because he thinks you're bad influence on me. Bad influence? Mama, I don't understand you any longer. 
Why are you standing this way? You just take me as one of those tarts in the village. Is this what love is all about? Oh, oh, Jesus. Love, love, love. See, you just annoy me each time you mention love. What love? Eh? My father does not know love. He doesn't know love. All my father knows is money. Mama, what are you insinuating? See, just leave me alone. Eh? My father made me to understand that I was made for high class men. High class men in this society. And, and not, not. Mama, not you're insulting me. Oh. Are you insulting me here? Sorry, oh. Sorry. Sorry, oh. Don't be angry. Maybe I was going on my own. You started following me. Oh, yeah. Go back to where you're coming from. Daddy, I am tired of this marriage. I need to leave. I am tired. I can't do this no longer. Please talk to him, okay? Help me to. I am. Okay, Daddy. Yeah, bye. So. You went ahead to report our issues to your father. Forgetting the fact that I am the head of this house. Hmm. I think it's high time you stopped using phone in this house. Anyways, I don't have your time for that now. Take these drugs for termination. You are mad. I mean, you are very crazy. You want me to take this drug to kill my baby? My dear, it is not happening, all right? What's your problem? It's my child. I put it there. I and am I want not it taking it out. I am not, all right? It's not happening. Yeah. What? Are you crazy? Are you mad? Why are you rushing out all the time? Huh? Why is it that you don't have time for me in this house? Business before pleasure. Oh, are you not happy that you're living in a multi million kingdom? Oh, please forget about all this. I am your wife, and I deserve to be with my man. I'm a lady and not a wood. Have I not warned you that I don't like you answering calls in my house? Listen, this is my house too, okay? And I can do whatever I like in this house. Oh, so you think you're right? No problems. Yeah, um, where are you? Okay, that's not a problem, okay? Um, you know what you're going to do? When you get to my street, call me, alright? My phone is open. Okay. Yeah, see you later. Bye.
I'm looking for 97 St. Michael's. I'm actually looking for somebody here. Yeah. 97 St. Michael's? I don't really know. I don't really know her here. Oh, Jesus. It's like you're looking for somebody. Yeah, my elder cousin. She stays there. And I've been calling her number. It's not reachable. I don't really know St. Michael's. Good, right? Okay. Thank you. It's all right. Yeah. Come on, you don't have any problems, okay? No matter how many people you need, I promise you. We will make them available within 24 hours. <laughs> Chairman, he is right. Even if you knew the total population of a community, as an entire, we will bring them to your door. Count on us. Well, well, well. That means we are in business. You can always count on your people. Sir. Meanwhile, I am going to connect you people to my friends who will equally be patronizing you too. Chairman, chairman. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be grateful if you do that. Uh, that's nothing. <laughs> Mark my word. Uh, meanwhile, when do I get the said consignment this evening? Sure. Sure. Do you want the money in cash or check? <laughs> we have it. Yes, sir. Oh, dummy, Vikas. Ah. We'll all visit the storehouse. Yes, my friends. Yes, my friends. Okay. All right. Alaji, just drink on, okay?